from AIBC Asia. I'm Jenny Ortiz Bolivar and I am joined by these wonderful people who are change makers in the entertainment industry. Now, well, I'm here with you, Josh Yugen, of course, entrepreneur and of course, a franchise owner of Miss Universe. Can you please introduce us to your guest? Hi, ABC. I'm Josh Yugen. So I'm the founder of Expedition Magazine and Dubai-based PR agency, Yugen PR, and of course, Yugen Events, uh, which owns four franchises of Miss Universe, Miss Universe Bahrain, Miss Universe Pakistan, Miss Universe Egypt, and Miss Universe New Zealand. So right now, I'm actually having my wonderful uh, guests, my fans, Richard Armstrong, R.C. Munoz, and Amir al So I'll let them introduce themselves one by one, starting with, of course, our recently best actress, yes. uh, winner in Japan, R.C. Munoz. Right. R.C., yeah, I want to ask you, well, first of all, congratulations. Thank you so much. Can you tell me, you know, about your journey towards getting that best actress and how was, what were you feeling when you, you knew, you know, you've heard that you won the best actress award? It, it was quite a surprise because we just got invited for a film festival in Japan. So to be recognized somewhere else outside my own country, I've been doing this for almost 19 years. So that's like half of my lifetime, more than half. So, and I never was able to um, be recognized and uh, awarded it, doing my craft in the Philippines. So to be recognized somewhere else, especially Japan, my favorite country is really a, a great honor and an achievement for me so it just goes to show that if you do what you love and you love what to do you can go miles you can reach for the stars you can do anything you can be anything that's right yeah that's right congratulations again and again you know the award i'm sure it's a testament of your hard work thank you in thank the entertainment you. industry and i'm excited for what's in store what's in for store? you in the coming years Okay, and congratulations. I want to go to um, Amira Al Alawi, of course, CMO with Vanna Skin PH. You know, um, I want to ask you about how do you integrate technology? It could be blockchain, it could be social media into your business uh, for, for it to grow and reach your target uh, market. So we, we use a lot of data analytics and we're able to tell like what audience follows us. And it's primarily women. And then like from the age, you figure out like what content works for them. And then in relation to skincare and beauty, there is like AI design tech that can just generate design and stuff. So you don't need to micromanage like designers anymore. So there's that element. All right, fantastic. It's really about, you know, knowing the data and understanding it and integrating it into your business. I, I like it because um, people can, you know, have this, they can have the idea and be inspired on what you do. All right, I want to ask, of course, Josh here, you know, as the CEO of Yugen Group and the franchise owner, again, of, of course, of Miss Universe, how has digital transformation impacted the way you engage with fans and contestants? Well, before I answer that, I want to take you to the journey, how it began. Uh, in 2015, I put up the first Filipino-owned publication in, in Dubai called Expedition Magazine. After a few years, we put up our celebrity beer company and we worked with a lot of stars like Mariah Carey, Ariana Grande, Kylie Jenner. Um, and of course, um, after a few years, I put up my events company. We produce fashion shows, concerts, and... It's also the owners of four franchises of Miss Universe, Miss Universe Bahrain, Miss Universe Pakistan, Miss Universe Egypt, and Miss Universe New Zealand. So for me, um, well, before uh, doing Miss Universe franchises, you need to have a broadcast partner. Yeah. But right now, you know, you can do it like in any platform. You can actually do it on YouTube. Uh, you can actually showcase it like... Uh, like movies now, like uh, before you need to actually go to cinema and watch a movie or when we actually go watch TV series, you have to be glued on your TV uh, at a certain time. But now you can actually watch Netflix TV shows or movies uh, in the time that you want, wherever you want it. So for me, that's actually innovation as well. That's true. Um, and how I do interact with my contestants and uh, the fans well, to answer that, like for example, 
uh, Miss Universe Bahrain. Uh, we do have like a voting, you know, app, and they can actually vote for their favorite candidate. Right. Uh, also the same with Miss Universe Pakistan and Miss Universe Egypt. So. Right. Okay, Josh, I want to ask Richard here. Of course, Richard Armstrong is a venture partner, media creator, and also an actor, guys. So how do you see digital transformation reshaping the media and entertainment landscape, not just in the Philippines, but worldwide? Yeah, um, as I mentioned, right, uh, you know, we were discussing about it briefly already, uh, but just to expand there, um, I think it's super exciting, especially in media, uh, my industry, right, what we look for is to find, like, the up and coming best trends before they become trends. Right. Right. So, you know, being able to sort of see the emergence of all these technologies and AI and also media content creation, things like this, it's super exciting. And, you know, obviously, I think, um, you know, the, the industry is going to change, but for the better, I think, right? Uh, the bar and everything like this to create content, create movies, create, um, you know, TV shows. You know, you're not going to need tens of millions of dollars anymore to create a movie. It might be a couple hundred thousand dollars, right? right? Because you don't necessarily need a film in a place anymore. With technology now, you know, you know, you don't have to do that, right? So, super exciting and glad to be a part of it. All right, Richard, I want to follow up on, can you provide an example of a tech-driven um, project or venture that you are involved in that aims to enhance the customer experience in entertainment? In entertainment? Yeah, okay, that's uh, straightforward. So I, I have quite a few ventures. I'm being on investment as my background. Um, you know, one project I, uh, you know, worked with where I, you know, quite a decent sized stakeholder is um, a company called uh, Capstone. Okay. Right? Uh, what they do is essentially they build brands for some of the big celebrities in Southeast Asia. Uh, because what we sort of realized is that the, um, these celebrities and things like this, they had massive distribution channels, but they had some business know-how, but you know that wasn't their forte, right? right? So that's where I guess we came in. So we partner with some of the best creators and uh, media, and we essentially handle everything for them. We let them do what they do best, and we do what we do best, right? So yeah. I think it's an interesting trend, um, you know. And we work with creators in not just Thailand, but all over Southeast Asia. So proud to be an investor in that company so yes oh that's fantastic that's really wonderful it's really um, letting the creatives the artists do their work and you helping them to integrate technology into that Josh my final question is what can we look forward to from you and of course your um, all your businesses motivation is what keeps you started but for me heart is what keeps you going and I feel like as long as we incorporate heart in everything that we do, we're going to be persuasive over all our dreams. So for me, innovation, but it needs to have a human touch all the time. So. All right, Amira, RC, Josh, Richard, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Bye.